Welcome back. It's still Business Insight and Plus TV. I have the national uh, PRO of Ibman, Ukadike Chidedu, joining me right now. Many thanks for joining me on Business Insight, Ukadike. Yeah, thank you. I love Nigeria. All right, let's try and understand what is really going on. Can you explain why uh, marketers are not selling the product? Well, we heard from the federal government, and it said that uh, the removal of subsidy is not immediate. What exactly is going on? Well, um, you, you see, you need uh, another explanation to be able to uh, take care of the policy statement. The president made a policy statement, actually, in his inauguration. And now people were now meant to understand that it's just a policy statement, that the uh, implementation of this, uh, implementation of uh, subsidy have not yet started. And uh, everybody is wary about the circumstances and the particular situation we are about to face. The president also, during his campaign, also knows that it's going to cause a lot of chaos. And he said he must remove subsidy to ensure that he plunged back the money wasted on subsidy on other sectors of life. But the problem now is that there is panic buying. And as I'm talking to you, NMPC is not yet supplying uh, independent market as petroleum products. And whenever you, you notice anything about shortage of supply, it will trigger off of the tariff. This is exactly what is going on now. Okay, so you're telling and me that. This is the situation now. at hand. Okay, so the issue right now is that uh, NMPC is not supplying. Uh, the products to uh, your members, or what? Yes, as, I, as I'm talking to you, okay, now, the uh, NFC have stopped supplying since that policy statement has been made. Okay, so the, 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 the stoppage of um, supply started uh, immediately after the president's uh, announcement? Yes. So, and that's that what triggers this panic buying. That's what triggers this uh, shortage of supply of petroleum products. Once there is shortage of supply of petroleum products, it will definitely lead to a suspicious scarcity. And you also know that people will panic by to ensure that they have enough. Because the Nigerian economy, especially the domestic, domestic Nigerian economy, is driven by petroleum products. So they, they promote us, everybody, we are you want to have, so that we can be able to move. We don't have trains, we don't have other means of transportation, apart from uh, uh, PMA. All right, uh, but uh, you, uh, as in Ipman, is not in support of the fuel subsidy removal as um, right now. You were quoted as saying that the president, uh, the government of President Tinubu, should not adopt what is in the transition document handed over to it by the administration of uh, former uh, President uh, uh, Muhammad Buhari. Can you explain further? Yes, uh, well, we said that because uh, constructively, when we discuss with the Mr. President during his campaign, he also told us that he has mapped out strategies. He has mapped out ways that seamlessly that uh, subsidy will be removed and it will not affect Nigeria. That if Nigeria will gain more when subsidy is more removed. So upon those basis of that policy statement he made during his campaign and during our interactive section with him, although he was represented by other testimony, upon that, that we now said, okay, since he knows how to do it, he would have abandoned the hand of note given to him by the past president who has tried to remove subsidy for the past eight years, and he couldn't do that. For him to come up with that unique way, with that comprehensive way, with that seamless way that he can be able to implement subsidies, and it will not cause galloping inflation in the country. Okay, so the situation right now. So uh, how long would this linger, and uh, what is Ipman expecting in the immediacy? Well, uh, I think uh, if uh, going by what Mr. President said, what week? I also think that uh, NMPCR should go back and start supply. Once there is adequate supply, it will bring down the price. And you know what well, the factors of uh, deregulation or subsidy removal is uh, is the pressure in prices. Where you, how you buy is how you sell. You know, it is the process of uh, demand and supply that determines the price of petroleum products. 
in line in during, during this austerity regime. So if there is adequate supply, all independent marketers want to sell and they want to be in business. And we like turnover. Turnover is part of our business. So if we see where we buy cheaper, we also sell cheaper. So that is the position of independent marketers. We are here to ensure that we deliver the last book to the computers and me and you. Because Nigeria is dependent on the production of petroleum products. If you are in, you said you are removing something, and we are still dependent on petroleum products. And the only source of getting petroleum products is the NMPs. So the, 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 if there is no product uh, by, uh, supplied to us by NMPs, the price is started. It didn't go more further than 2,000. And it will bring more hardship than what the subsidy regime has given to us. All right, now, so from the foregoing right now, you have talked about uh, the president uh, should uh, actually meet uh, with stakeholders. Uh, you also talked about uh, uh, the, the Dangote refinery being on stream and that that is supposed to help um, the situation. You also talked about uh, putting the refineries in order. Can you throw more light on that? Ukadike, did you hear my question? All right, I think uh, we lost uh, Oka DK there. Oka DK uh, Chinadu is uh, the National Public Relations Officer of the Independent Ma uh, Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ipman, and he joined us to talk about uh, the, the ongoing fuel scarcity and, of course, uh, the issue of um, a fuel subsidy removal. We'll move away from that now as we wrap up now to some other uh, issues are making the round as we go. The Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN, says it is highly commendable to hear of President Bola Tinubu's industrial policy that will utilize the full range of fiscal measures to promote domestic manufacturing and lessen import dependency. Uh, this was contained in a statement issued by the President of MAN, Shegu Ajayikade, on Wednesday. Ajayikade says, in addition to pursuing the unification of the exchange rate, the CBN should be prevailed upon to take effective action to give priority to the allocations of foreign exchange to the productive sector, particularly to manufacturers to import raw materials, spares, and machinery that are not locally available. Man also wants the president to direct the NEC to admit all qualified applicant companies into the eligible customer scheme in order to allow them access to power as stipulated in the Electric Power Sector Reform Act of 2005, among other postulations that it made today. Well, that's the size of the show for today. I am Justin Akadonye. Many thanks for watching.